Um, let me see. Miz versus Dominic. Uh, poor Dominic loses in 30 seconds. Um, then gets beat yeah. up by Ravi or whatever the guy's name is. Yeah, the, okay, so the, so this was basically just the thing. So the Veer comes out. Uh, Miz rolls out of the ring and Veer in the ring and kicked Dom. And Ray tried to fight him, but Veer put him down the clothesline. Side slam. He put Dom on what Smith called it. It was a cervical clutch, and Dom tapped her pee. Bro, let me tell you, here was a problem with this. This guy, Zier, whatever. Beer. Beer. Yeah, yeah beer. beer. When you're gonna, when you're making an in, when you're, when you're, when you're doing, when you're debuting like he is out of nowhere, and you're beating up, you know, Dominic and Ray, especially Ray, who's a legend, you have to make an impact. And that to me was not impactful. It was just, he came in, he gave him a, he actually gave him a clothesline while he was on one knee to Ray, which was actually hilarious. And then he put the guy in some sort of side camel clutch, you know, Dominic, I don't know what the f*** that was. You know, he should just beat the f*** out of both of them if that's what they were going to do, because I guess he's wrestling Ray next week, you know, and really made an impact and tore it up. And I just feel he, when this was over, he didn't make an impact. No, I not at all. And let me tell you, and this is to, to me. Okay, let's 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 book this. All right. <clears throat> You've been saying for months, Veer is a uh, you know Veer's coming. Veer's coming. You know, it's been right. it's an overhype, right? In fact, like right. April fourth, right? For all the buildup, this is just a weird way to do this. Right. Like he shows up, attacks down. It's like why on earth? Like you're showing up. Like if we were even talking about like here's your thing, you know. I, I mean, honestly, wouldn't I want you to come out and maybe hear what you have to say instead of your your what do you got beef with Dominic Mysterio? Or if you're <laughs> gonna... like, right, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a very weird, strange way to do this. You know, I would have I would have had him come out there and like you know, I, this is off the top of my head. Okay, if you want to make like like if you want to introduce a guy, but if you want to get the same thing out of him, like show this guy's a badass and he can kill, he can beat people up. Yeah. Is what if this guy Veer? You because it's been kind of comical a little bit. The, the the every week, like people are kind of making fun of this Veer guy debuting. Right. Like they've been laughing about it, you know. So and then you saw these like Sean Ross Sapp was making sexual innuendo jokes and stuff and everything. During it was so stupid, right? What if he just came out, grabbed the mic, stood in the ring, didn't say anything for like two minutes, and just said, "This is my yard now," right. or "This Veer's yard now," right? And just leaves the right. ring. And you go backstage and people laugh like you get a guy like us there. Oh, this is your yard. Bro, you just got here and either laughing at me and he just beats the out of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, okay, what if what if he came out and said, like, this is my yard now? And everybody's kind of like, who the f is this guy? And he just right, starts if beating you're gonna make up. an impact, make an impact. You make know, like impact. if he, he, he should have that would have been an impact. So think you about that had a shot. You should have had a shot of, of guys laid on the floor and him walking from the dressing room to the ring. What the f just happened Bro, here you, you know you this guy is breaking people and he, he's pushing security aside and he goes in there puts dominic through a table you know does something to ray throws the stairs on him rips his mask up and goes you know beer is here or whatever the he would say you know but that would just had no impact bro look at how they booked the debut of Cross in NXT, the right. build up and the way it's just like, and it, bro, he came across as a big time character right off the bat. Right, because not beating up backstage. And you guys had basic booking, booking one on one, the way to do it with this guy. Right. You know, he just built, you know, but it's like, oh, whatever. I don't know. 